it's time for Stories from the Heart with Carolyn Mark. Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome to another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark. Yippee! <laughs> and today we're going to go to a special place. We're going on a special adventure, Carol. <laughs> Yes, and it's a place where all of us can go when we go to sleep. Oh, really? <gasps> I want to go. Ah, that we, sounds exciting. We have to prepare ourselves. Oh, oh boy. we have to get packing. Ooh, Ooh, I love it. Yeah. So, are you ready to find out where it is and how to get there? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Ready, ready set, set, and, and go. go. The Spirit Colony of Kind and Loving Hearts Victoria was an adorable little girl. She went to the Spirit Center in the Enchanted Forest again and again. She loved to attend classes there. She really did. Every time the teacher either at the Spirit Center school or at her regular school said, oh, I need a little help. She was right there saying, yay, I'm ready. I want to help. And she loved our very own big brother Jesus. Hooray! Yes, that's right. She had a purple heart-shaped I love you, Big Brother Jesus sunglasses. Wow, she went everywhere with those sunglasses and even when she wasn't wearing them, she would imagine them because she would see herself throwing hearts around to everyone because she studied about Big Brother Jesus and she felt that in order to follow him, she had to love, 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 no matter what. And guess what? Every day she would say, Big Brother Jesus, I love you. I feel the love and the love feels awesome. Hooray! And one night, she said a beautiful loving prayer out of her loving heart. And from the spiritual realm, her beautiful garden angel came to her and said, Hey, Victoria, I missed you. Do you want to go somewhere really special with me? And she said, Yay, hooray, I'm ready. And he said, Ready, set, and go. And they started traveling up and up and up and up and up and up and up higher than higher than higher than higher than higher than all of the clouds and then all of a sudden victoria could see with her garden angel a beautiful little city with beautiful loving homes all homes had heart-shaped windows and heart-shaped doors and the trees were so beautiful that they were all flowering, even though spring had passed already. And around the streets, there were beautiful benches. Everything looked brand new. And on the benches, she could see heart-shaped loving notes that people who lived there had left for each other already. And every time she could walk around and see someone else, everybody would say to her, Hi, how are you? Welcome to the spirit colony of loving and kind hearts. So she said to her garden angel, Spirit colony of loving and kind hearts? What's that? And he said, This is your real home. This is your home in the spiritual realm. It's invisible to you now because you live connected to a physical body. But when you go to sleep, I bring you here because you are free from your physical body. So you come back home. And this home is for everyone that decides to follow Big Brother Jesus' loving steps. And love, 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 no matter what. Wow, so this is not a dream? 
And the garden angel said, no, it's for real. This is the real deal. And she said, wow, I love it. And so the garden angel said, well, I have to take you back right now because you are connected to your physical body still. But remember, when you wake up, you can continue to be connected to your true home, the spirit colony of loving hearts. And she said, wow, how can I live in two places at the same time? Wowie, gazowie! And the garden angel said, don't be surprised. All you need to do is to share more and more love and kindness with everyone you meet. If you do that when you are connected to your physical body, you make Big Brother Jesus super happy. And so Big Brother Jesus will always be around you. And when you are truly, once and for all, free from your physical body, you're going to live here full time. And she said, wow, that sounds like a great deal. I can't wait to practice every day. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, what a fantastic story, Carol. You know what I learned about? What? 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 Well, what I can't believe is that when we go to sleep, mm -hmm. right? Right. We can go there. I know. Any one of us can go there. I know. Isn't that cool? Now, now Love that... Love is really in the air there. Yay. Now, okay. Well, I have a question. What okay? is it? All right. Now, let's say I go out of town. Right. Okay? Or I go camping or something, right? I need to always pack something with me. I can't just go on a journey to another place another town somewhere without anything, right? right? You always have to carry something, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you just need a wallet with some money or you need some water to carry with you. You always need to carry something. So, yeah, I'm, I'm asleep. <sighs> okay? Maybe I snore a little bit. Okay? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Is that all? Do I just snore? Or what is it that I need to do to get there, Carol? You need to pack up the suitcase in your heart. I have a suitcase in my heart. Oh, yes, you do. Did you know that your heart, beautiful, loving heart, keeps track of all of your loving actions? When we think of that song, What a Wonderful World. Every time we think and feel that the world is wonderful and that the people around us are loving and wonderful, we make our heart smile. And every time we make our heart smile, we share more love and kindness with everyone around us. And our loving hearts remember the smiles. And they remember what makes us smile. Isn't that beautiful? The reason they remember is because we are not the physical body that we wear now. We are the spirit. And we are a spirit. And as a spirit, we have lived many lives. And every act of loving kindness is registered in our spiritual life. So wait, wait, wait. That means that I need to carry with me loving actions in my heart. Right. And then those are the things I can take with me. Yes. If those I, are your luggage. If I don't have it, then I won't be able to go, right? Right. Ah. So that means that I need to make sure that every day I pack my heart suitcase. You got it. Gotcha. And as spirit smart, we don't need clothes. And we don't need a wallet. And we don't need water. Because those are the needs of our body. Right. But how about when we are free from our bodies? Then we don't need those anymore. Wow. So our needs change. When we are free from our bodies, all we need is love. And love is all we need. need. That's it. You got it. And I, th I heard, I heard that if you say a prayer before you go to bed, Right? Right. It can increase your chances to be ready. Exactly. Ah. Every day you can prepare ourselves to go to the spirit colony of loving and kind heart. Well, that sounds like fun. Every night we can go on the best trip ever. All we have to do is open our hearts for the good. So let's think about some ways we can practice kindness Hooray! during the day. Yeah. Right. All right. How uh, can we do it, Mark? I can open the door for someone. How about that? Or I can, ah, I know. Maybe I can, at, in the lunchroom, maybe I can help someone get their lunch tray. 
who may, maybe that, you know, that has trouble doing that. Oh, oh, I know. Maybe I can carry someone's backpack for them. You got it. There's all kinds of things I can do. Maybe I can tell my mommy and daddy I love them. Uh, or maybe I can even ask them, you know, how can I love you even more? Maybe I can give up the seat on the bus to someone who might need it. You got it. Uh, or when it's dinner time or lunch time, instead of wanting my food to come first, maybe I can go last. Uh, or when I'm talking to someone rather than saying, oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. We just practice listening. Did you know that listening to someone is an act of kindness? There's so many things we can do that I think we just need to open up our hearts, right? You got and, it. And listen there, and the opportunities will come. They will, ah. because all of us have our garden angel telling us, be kind, go this way, talk to this person, smile. So all we have to do is open our eyes and listen up. Well, let's do it right now. Let's, let's say a prayer to our guardian angels that will help us to learn to listen to our hearts. Dear guardian angel, thank you for always being with us every day and for guiding us every day to do the things that Big Brother Jesus has taught us so many times to be kind and loving. Dear guardian angel, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being able to take us to the loving spirit colony Thank you, Guardian Angel, for being with us to help us to fulfill what we should do here on Earth, to be kind and loving. Thank you for helping us every day at school, on the bus, in the town, at the shopping mall, on the street, and at home with our families to be loving and kind. We thank you, Guardian Angel, and especially we thank you, Big Brother Jesus, for always being on our side. And so be it. So be it. Yay! And I'm seeing it again for another... Stories from the Heart. With Carol. And Mark. We will be smiling towards you from the heart every single day. We love you guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.